Hello world, Coco Martech here and in this video, pag-uusapan natin ang latest phone from Samsung which is the Samsung S21 Fan Edition. So if you're new to my channel, please consider giving this video a like, subscribe, alam nyo na, click on the notification bell to get notified for more tech videos. So huwag natin patagalin pa and welcome to one episode of TT with Coco Martech. So simula natin sa design ng S21 FE. So S21 FE, if you're not familiar, yun nga, FE stands for Fan Edition. Last year, yung S20 FE, isa siya sa mga hit talaga ng Samsung. Kasi para siyang S20 na phone, pero mas mura siya. So basically, tindrim daw ng konting specifications niya. So basically, ganun din sa S21 FE. Kaso, ang naging problema, parang hindi siya sulit para sa akin. So, diniretso ko na. Based on the specifications, hindi siya sulit. Why? Dahil una, yung presyo ng S21 FE ay parang kapareho na ng presyo ng S21. So, kung pagpipilian mo, parang para sa akin mas, bag, mas sulit yung S21 kasi flagship na siya. Anyway, pag-usapan muna natin yung mga specifications ng S21 FE. So, simula natin sa likod ng phone, yung rear niya. So, yung likod niya actually made of plastic siya. So, well, okay lang naman sa akin yun. Okay lang na trade of yun kasi halos lahat naman nagsusot ng case for their phones. And then, meron din siyang aluminum frame. Okay lang din. And yung design niya, medyo hawig ng S21. So, in terms of aesthetics, which is very subjective, for me, okay lang siya. And the build quality, I think it's a great trade off Ako kasi mag-ingat ako sa phone, so okay lang sa akin. Kaya kung made of plastic or glass, either works for me. So, sa harapan niya, meron siyang... Uh, Gorilla Glass Victus uh, protecting the screen na meron siyang dynamic OLED. Well, alam naman natin na yung OLED screens, yung AMOLED screens ng Samsung ay one of the best if not the best. So, yung screen display niya, super AMOLED, 120Hz, HDR10+. Meron siyang 6.4 inch yung kanya screen display, 85.3% screen to body ratio, 1080p by 2400 pixels. 20 by 9 aspect ratio, 411 pixels per inch, always on display. So, if we're going to compare yung screen display, alam naman natin, industry leading, so okay yun. And then sa likod, and yung overall build quality, made of plastic yung likod, which is okay for me, dahil maingat naman ako sa phone ko, either glass or plastic. And usually naman naglalagay tayo ng mga case, so in terms of aesthetics, okay lang naman siya. Yung UI niya is one UI... 4, which is yung pinakabago ng One UI na Samsung and Android 12. So, in terms of software, halos pareho lang din with S21. And then, yung kanyang processor, which is Snapdragon 888 5G. Alam mo naman natin na S, nung Snapdragon 888 is a very fast, capable processor. So, kahit anong ilagay mo dyan, uh, kayang-kaya niya gawin. Very snappy. And uh, I am happy to say na hindi na masyadong malagang Samsung as compared before. So, Kanyang GPU, Adreno 660. So, kahit anong game, Mobile Legends, or kung ano man yung mas graphic-intensive games, makakayanin talaga ng Samsung S21 FE. Makita naman natin na maganda pa rin specifications. Wala siya memory card slot. Ang kanyang internal storage ay either 128 or 256 GB. RAM niya is either 6 or 8 GB of RAM. Depende kung saan location ka. And then for the camera setup, pero kan three lenses. Of course, you have your main lens, ultra wide lens, and telephoto lens. So for the main lens, we have a 12 megapixel f 1.8 lens na meron 1.8 microns OIS or optical image stabilization and dual pixel autofocus. For the telephoto lens, meron siyang 8 megapixels f 2.4 uh, OIS and 3x optical zoom. And for the ultra wide lens, meron siyang 12 megapixels f2.2 and a field of view of 123 degrees. So, basing on the specifications ng camera setup, wala naman masyadong groundbreaking, pero it's not actually a bad thing kasi hindi naman masyadong gumagamit lahat or majority of the consumers ng kanilang camera setup. So, it really depends on the buyer kung gusto nila na sobrang gandang specification for cameras. Personally, okay lang sa akin yung gantong specifications kasi hindi masyadong noticeable yung kung 12 megapixel man yan o no, 64 kasi it does not really mean na pag mas mataas yung 
megapixels magan mas maganda na yung quality para sa akin ang pinaka importante dito is meron siyang 4K video malaking difference ng 4K video sa 1080p ang kinaganda naman ng S21 FE is meron na siyang 4K 60 frames per second so kung nagsisinematography kayo pwede nyo slow down yung video while retaining the 4K quality which is a really nice feature ng phone so for the S21 FE, meron siyang single stereo speakers. And then for the selfie camera, meron siyang 32 megapixels f2.2. Pwede ka rin gumawa ng 4K videos using the selfie camera. So kung mahilig kayo mag-vlog or mahilig kayo mag-video ng sarili nyo for some reason, it's a really nice component ng phone. So for the battery of the S21 FE, meron siyang 4,500 mAh. Meron siyang fast charging na 25 watts. Meron siyang reverse wireless charging and wireless charging. So yung battery performance niya, good to great, depending on how you use your phone. So obviously, maglalas ka naman na isang araw with this phone. Lalo na nasa bahay lang tayo. Pero yun niya, ang battery niya is from good to great. So aside from that, meron din tayong color variants of the phone, which are white, graphite, lavender, and olive. Uh, meron din pala siyang fingerprint under the display sa harapan. Reliable naman and fast compared to other phones, pero hindi siya yung industry leading. Kamang sinasabi natin specifications, based on paper or pag mo lang, okay naman yung phone. Hindi siya pangit, hindi siya slow or something. Pero yung value niya for the price, para hindi siya masyadong sulit. Kasi meron mga phones na almost the same specifications, pero parang kalahati na ng presyo. As for example, yung Samsung A52s 5G. Although medyo mas mabagal siya ng konti, halos ibang specifications niya, parang pareho na rin at a very cheaper price. Interesado kayo malaman yung difference ng Samsung F S21 FE sa Samsung A52s 5G. Make sure to like and subscribe dahil mag-upload ako ng comparison video na kanilang specifications. Again, this is a review of the specifications lang, hindi pa siya yung actual phone, dahil hindi ko pa wala pa ako ng phone mismo, pero based on the specifications lalo na kung isa kang consumer na hindi talaga maalam sa phone, and if you just want to see the specifications and kung sulit siya, para sa akin hindi talaga, I don't know, kung marami kang pera, I think it's still a good buy or if you want, you can just buy the Samsung S21 na mas mura naman lalo na kung para slightly used lang sa online. So, ang um, presyo niya is around 30,000 to 35,000 pesos. And if you're going to buy this sa stores, nasa 39,000 pesos siya. So, as to give you a perspective kung gaano kasulit yung ibang phone as compared to S21 FE, again, kung 39,000 ang S21 FE, yung A52S 5G ay nasa 23,000 pesos. So, almost kalahati na, pero you're still having great specifications for that phone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this video a like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified for more video. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. Keep safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.